All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Minute of Islands. It is a point-and-click adventure game. That's... I'd say all I kind of know about this game... Oh, it might actually have, like, voice acting. Or voice something. All right, anything else? Nope. But we saw this at PAX a couple of years ago and knew we were absolutely going to love it. But I didn't want to play it then and there because... I knew I was going to be playing it when it came out, or just kind of as a demo. And unfortunately, over the last several months, we've been getting fake emails from... Uh, yeah, people asking, like, spam. we yeah. want to sponsor you to play this. And so it's, like, a kind of cathartic to finally actually be able to play the game in a legit sense, as opposed to, like, we're going to send you this virus-laden fake file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't trust the emails that you get. Make sure that the that you know the developer's actual emails... And press emails. There we go. I totally forgot to change the name of my stream. It happens often. Okay. We're still recording, though. Of course we are. Because why not? I'm liking the music, and I really... One of the things that draw, drew me to this game is uh, the use of just line art and flats for the most part. It's a very... Clean cut? Question mark? Art style? Uh, it kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that I do. Though I think they go with very uniform line thicknesses, which I don't think I can... I don't think I can do. <laughs> Content warning. Minute of Island is a game that deals with complex themes such as trauma, anxiety, and destructive behavior towards oneself and others. The game also uses images and language, which may be triggering or disturbing to some. Mo's journey is her story alone, and, do, and not intended to be universal depiction of people affected by these issues. Huh. Did not necessarily expect that, but I guess it's kind of normal for games to start tackling these in a more reasonable manner. Spring demo. You get your cursor away. No cursor. Yes, cursor. No cursor. Yes, cursor. No, not in the middle of the cutscene cursor. Okay. How about here? No. Here? No. Over here? No. Maybe here. Four no. brothers. Saffron. Bagger. Under. And Offla. Bound by eternal purpose. Away. Thank you. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And a girl named Mo. Ooh. Looks techno organic to me. Yeah. Is that that's like a big roller coaster thing? Moore has learned to sleep under the hissing tubes and the ever humming chambers. The pumping cylinders give her comfort. The drumming of a job well done. Nothing startles her more than silence. There is no rest for the apprentice. Okay. I can use a controller on this one. Time to go to upper bed. Up. Oh, Maybe that's where she eats? What is that? Down here is not a good place to keep a pet. Doesn't stop her from trying. 
Turns out seagulls make bad pets. Drawings, layouts, and blueprints. Rudimentary tools, tools for Moe's tinkering. Yeah, it's that peculiar staff. Does it have the power of the four god beings? Oh, it's the Omni Switch. It will always point to your next objective like a compass and will give you access to the machines of the giants. So is Ande, Afla, Bergon, and Aengon? Or it was something like that. An attempt to bring some life to this place. I really love the transition between like dark and then the tubes and pipes coming out. Mm -hmm. It's very organic, I guess. Well, that's why I said techno organic. Oh. See, that's um. It's an organic Ugh. aperture. It's a or like you like to call them sphincters, don't you? <laughs> yup, that's the sphincter door right there. I mean, they said that there were these four giants, right? Could she be living on one or in one or maybe? That's definitely got a schfink door thing going on with it. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, she kind of floats a little bit with the poncho. Ah. Crawl through. Uh, okay. Moore has done so much around here. Repaired and watched and built. But in this deathly silence... She is once more taunted by the one thing she will never be able to do. Their engineering can be studied and replicated, but their strength they selfishly keep. Is this one of the giants? Ugh. Despite all the wiring and the manufactured tubes, the engines are powered by physical force. Is the island a ship for them then? Maybe. The kind that no mere human could ever muster. He's sleeping right now, right? Yeah. Seems like there's a snore. Safan. He was oh. always the weakest of the four. He is struggling to breathe. Even oh. more can taste the stale air in her mouth. It seems the ventilation system isn't working properly, but nothing does without the engine. Visit the observatory and make sure the other three brothers are still functioning. Wait, they're all here in one ship? I thought I that there were guess so. four in different places, but no, they're all together. So has she just been living among them? Have they tolerated her as a caretaker? Or do they even just tolerate her existence and she's just forced to live among them? I don't know. I mean, or do they rely on her? If, do they raise her? If uh, I doubt they raised her. Mm-hmm. It looks like Without a map. power, the observatory is not much use. My assumption is they'd squash her if mm -hmm. they didn't want her here. This is freaking weird. 
Use the Omni Switch to reroute emergency power to the observatory. No power. Can you jump on top of the box? Yeah. It hits Mo like a punch to the chest. It has all four of them. They all broke at the same time. Failed at the same time. Something grave must have occurred. But what? Inspect the surface to investigate what made the ventilation sh system shut down. Yeah, because if they're all getting oxygen deprived... How did they even get out of here? This place seems kind of dense. It might be one of those situations where they grew into it and built it around them and can never leave. Or something else built it and they were forced to work it. Without the veil, the air is too toxic to breathe. And just as more feared, the vents have all shut. The poison is kept out, but so is the oxygen. Safan is slowly suffocating and the other three may have it worse. I... Wait, they're talking about a poison is being kept out? Yeah, guess so. So what is even in the world outside? I... Don't know. I love this line art, though. This is incredible to look at. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can't touch those? Yep. Yep. Those are cool noises. Yeah. Well, with many that whale looks very done with life. Oh yeah, look at all that in the air. Hey, but it looks pretty homey outside. Maybe they can't take the poison, but other animals can. By Studio Fizzbin. Maybe it's minute. Like, diminutive? Minute? Minute? It, I suppose it's. It's probably minute. She's small. But. But she is very small compared to them. Oh, look at that seagull. It has blood on its chest because it's tearing up the shark. Why, is, why are there stitches on that shark? And that, that seagull doesn't have feathers on its chest either. Chapter 1, Safan. Part 1, The Island of Boan. It shows all three purifiers are down, as if more needed any confirmation beyond the spores in the air. This is on you, Safan. Mo grunts. Pray it is not too late for me to fix your mess. Restore three air purifiers located on the neighboring island of Bewa. Her uncle's proudest catch. Fish and potatoes. Mo hasn't eaten today. Look at all the gas mask suits and such. 
And all the fish bones. This is where that smell is coming from. At least the spores did not spoil the crustaceans. Oh, did it decay all of the fish, but the crustaceans are okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of the fish are showing signs of spore damage. You couldn't look at the spyglass? Oh. A glimpse of the other islands not far from here. A filthy chair with her uncle's behind imprinted into it. So where's her uncle? Like Mo, these bottled messages never left these islands. Well, look at that. Is that a giant hammer shark head shark head? Go back. Oh. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Hammerhead sharks are really cool. Mo has never been interested in fishing, sitting around, doing nothing. Some parts of her uncle's extensive collection. That seagull's missing a leg. Yeah, a number of the seagulls look diseased. They have tumors on their necks, missing limbs, blood. Missing feathers, yeah. Boy, hooty. Oh, that one has a bloody mouth. A dead sperm whale? Yep. And it the looks diseased. Clear. It died a long time ago. And now, the spores are taking hold of whatever remains. A better fate than the fungus eating you alive. Oh, wait. Everything is being afflicted by this fungus, but you decay even faster with all of these spores? Yes, so. I didn't nobody notice this thing. Jesus. Uh, this is, I thought this was going to be a somewhat cute? cute but bittersweet puzzle game. This has gone straight onto the, this might give me nightmares <laughs> territory. Uh-huh. I almost demolished Shell last night due to a nightmare. I got jumped by some psycho cultist zombie man and reflexively kicked out, narrowly missing her legs this morning. <laughs> and the act of doing so freaked me so out so much that I couldn't sleep. The ship needs a quick recharge. Yes, nope. So where's her uncle? Not a clue. Whew. That's how this weird organic tech worry. works. I will fix your mess. And I will save our homes. More reassures herself. It makes squelching noises. Yep. Are you sure you want to start your journey? Yep. So, were these giants experiments? The world couldn't have always been like this. Were they aliens? Yeah, I don't know. It's certainly a, like a really cool aesthetic. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it sounds like the people learned the technology from the giants. I wonder if the More giants almost... Shudders. She knows the damage the spores are capable of. The fungus first poisoning the mind, then ever so slowly, consuming the body. How it will spoil the verdant soil and obscure the midday sun. I wonder if uh, the giants are actually aliens that came crashing down, mm -hmm. bringing the spores with them, but also their technology. Her uncle had like a gas mask thing in his cabin. You Despite really think all of its dangers, more frequently inhales the poison, an occupational hazard, she calls it. A sacrifice others weren't willing to make. Oh, yeah, what about the gas masks? You'd think that breathing more of it in would hasten the process. I think maybe it's just kind of this... Oh, look at that fish. A few violent coughs. A few eerie apparitions. Won't keep her from doing her job. After Wait. all, she is the bearer of the Omni Switch. You see things? Yeah. It's hallucinogenic? Well, it, it attacks your mind first. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. It's releasing too much energy. I almost wouldn't be surprised if she isn't just kind of fatalistic about all of this stuff. That you know, her own well-being almost kind of doesn't factor in mm -hmm. due to well, her everyone, background, the state of the world, who knows? That or she might be of the opinion that everyone's going the to die. Ever. Once a bustling place before a great exodus. Now just a pile of broken things and abandoned ideas. The island hosts the purifiers guarding Safran's domain. And not much else anymore. Chapter 1, Safan, Part 2, The Island of Bewa. I, I do wonder, there, in some post-apocalypse media where everyone's infected with something, there are the people who try to find ways to cure it. There are people who try to find ways to to stifle its advance or to impede it so that it doesn't take over as swiftly as it normally would. And then there are others that say, it's going to get me anyway. Why even try to stop it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it really depends on kind of statistical cha chances. Yeah, it depends on if it's 100%. Locate and restart the first of the three air purifiers to eventually cleanse Bewa and Boan. Oh, oh, the bunny monster. The bunny, one of the bunnies is dead and it's in a bunch of spores. Yeah, they're, they're like little jackalopes. Oh. Can you collect the them? The smell of sea berries fills her nostrils. Or is it a scent lingering in her memories? Oh yeah, see, one of 12. So you actually have to collect those creatures. The children used to all come here together. Miri, Moore, their friends, for the Seabury Jam, the Scarecrows, and the Rides. And then the Exodus happened. Yeah, maybe just a bunch of people decided to pack up and try and find safer areas, leaving her behind. Oh, look at the dead one. The poison in the air takes some animals quicker than others. <laughs> I 
once again with the white ledge sludge. Bird poop. <laughs> right, the bird poop. It's a very clear visual indication, which I can kind of respect. Why does it always look like white marks? Her uncle's estate. He should be inside, with the windows shut and doors locked. The doors are open. Yeah, the one door is open. heart skips a beat. Either the fungus got to him, or he is somewhere out there, fiddling with the purifiers himself. Oh, but there was tea on the stove. Years of unopened letters. Mo can relate. The oven is still warm and smells of fresh bread. Someone left in a hurry. They forgot to turn the cooker off. So many bottles, but just one seat. Family pictures. Only a few with Mo in them. Her uncle was still waiting for his dog to come back. Well, he didn't die here. Her uncle's toolbox is missing. Remember, hey, look at all these gas masks. <gasps> Moore remembers every one of these masks. The people who once wore them. The lingering memories of people. In one way or another. Now gone. Not a word in the world. Cheers. You don't want to go the other way? Won't let me. Ah. Like she she pulled the uh, staff out and said, go this way. Mm-hmm. Oh, more of the dead rabbits. Just rust and fish grease. Smiley face stone? Ooh, giant fish stuff. Ugh. Moore never understood the appeal of bones to decorate a tourist attraction. It's authentic, her uncle would say. But he'd always dodge the question of whether the bones were from a whale or another large creature. So there was a, a roller coaster around here. Yeah, that was I, the theme I tried park. mentioning that earlier. Mm -hmm. That uh, around that creature that we uh, I've already forgotten. Uh, in that like little bit in the very beginning, there was. Roller coaster tracks surrounding it on either side. Hmm. Yeah, look at all these rabbits, though. Oh, they're breaking. Moore's uncle owned this place. He still somehow does. Not that anyone would contest it. One ride was two coins, back when money still meant something. It still smells of candy floss, popcorn, and frying fat. What remains of the tasty slushies of her youth? With binoculars. Mo doesn't have a coin to operate it. There's another smiley face on a ball. Are they just hiding smiley faces here and there? Yeah, they might be. Or are those the oranges? I think they're the oranges. Or the sea berries. The machine looks intact. It is resting. Waiting for a spark. Mm -hmm. 
something of interest back there? I'm just trying to figure out how to get around. A mysterious bubbly brown pulp inside. Barry, the Seabury boy, a hit with the visitors. <laughs> so they would sell Seabury jam here as well. Makes sense. This game is eerie. Oof, that sound effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another one on the left. Activate. There we go. Does it purify everything too? Yeah. More dares to take a deep breath. The air still tastes foul, but the acrid poison is mostly gone. Two more to go. This part of the island is cleansed. Now find the two remaining purifiers. Oh, so the upper part of the island is. Mm -hmm. But not the other parts. So that section where you told me to turn around, it's actually where I need to go next. Through the house. Oh, kettle's still going. I would have turned it off, but oh well. Yeah. Once again, fatalism. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I, the. I, how many people? One, at least a couple dozen alone, just there. Yeah, but it's like the psychological damage that a young child might undergo as mm -hmm. a result of more or less having the world end mm -hmm. around them is, you know, how do you even, how do you even predict that? Like what it would be? Uh, let's not do that quite yet. It looks like there might have been something maybe over to the right? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Uh, yeah, no, I'm wrong. It's interesting if you think about it now how other people are poisoned mm -hmm. today. Yeah. I wonder how much Lockdown has changed this story, if they did any kind of rewrites. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But... Just the... Like, I mean, think of it this way. If everyone you know and love has either moved on or straight up just died, I... You know, oh, a kettle on the stove, whatever, who cares? You know, just even small stuff like that after a certain point, it just doesn't matter to you anymore. Well, this is also an instance where the world itself is falling into disrepair because people aren't capable of maintaining it. What a nightmare COVID would evolve into something much worse. Yeah. We got really lucky. Doesn't feel like it, but we definitely did. Yeah, because imagine if something was even 50% fatal. Uh, even 10%. Mm-hmm. 10% would be horrendous. He didn't want kids sneaking around, breaking things, or adults stealing things. But more was always welcome here. More was family. Yeah, Black Death was 30%. 
gitmiş. And that was back when people couldn't diagnose or know the causation or any kind of remedy for it. Oh, I think maybe you're supposed to bring that up. There's Probably a... Probably not the machine. No, there's that anchor. Well, I can't get off of it now. <laughs> Yeah. I just don't know how you're, you're going to get through the gate without opening it. Oh, the, the boat can be moved too. There we go. From where can I buy this game? It is currently available on Steam as a demo, uh, if you want to get it as part of the Steam Winter Games Festival. It will be available for purchase sometime, hopefully within the next six months. Uh, at least that was one of the requirements to be part of the festival, is to... Oh, now you can climb up that way. There we go. Now, how long is the demo? We don't know. Over half an hour, that's for sure. Game will be out in March. Oh, is that where you made the jam? Or her, the uncle made the jam, I should yep. say. Looks like he's still got a lot of the stuff Moore going. remembers the heat on her tongue and fingers as she snuck a taste of the steaming sweet sour jam. For weeks after, She'd carry a little teaspoon, so she wouldn't have to wash her hands. These poor rabbits. The fungus has already taken too many victims today. The old man and his locks, protecting his property, as if a crowd might wander once again. He was tasting his own product here. Oh, is that him? Yep. Maybe they would have been protected inside their burrows. the first time she saw the farmer singing a song as he lit a candle by this tree she didn't understand what he meant until later that things are only gone when they are forgotten Can you climb that ladder? Take in the sour sense of the fermented berries. Oh. Deeply curious to know their taste. But she's too young, so no booze for her. Her uncle once harpooned this. Oh, her uncle harpooned this one himself, though the big shark. Probably fakes, like many of the artifacts on the island. Every man needs a hobby. Big game fishing is her uncle's. Moore remembers excitedly showing everyone who would humor her the sounds and rhythms of the machine underneath the land. Her uncle always stayed the longest. Watching her face light up the little dark holes inside. <gasps> the old 
the wood groans, dreaming of past revolutions, resolute to be a solution once more, before turning to dust. into place. A lot of it looked like drawers and such had been used. Yeah. Oh. The berry farmer sighs, exhausted from his struggle. Living things are his purview, not machines. So for all his troubles, all his striving to fix the machine, it simply bore no fruit. More frowns, her frustration growing. She warned him not to toy with the machines. Moore's uncle huffs, disappointed at his niece's rudeness. For heaven's sake, was I meant to just watch as the poisonous dust slowly settled around my island? He was meant to stay inside and wait for her to be done. His heroics were simply unneeded. Yeah, she sounds very bitter. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I'm not sure if I can blame her. Like, I mean, especially if she's this rod keeper and has to look after some giants. Mm-hmm. responding the way that it should. Looks like the old man didn't touch anything important. This part of the island is protected again. Yep. Relief washes over her uncle at the sight of her success. Feeling thankful and a little ashamed, he offers some seaberry wine as reconciliation. He hands over his key, a sign of his trust and asks her to fetch them a bottle of his finest, the one tucked away in the shed. The island master key. I don't know why you'd lock things up at this point. That's what she was saying in her internal dialogue. That there wouldn't be crowds to come back again. Picked up a bottle of fine seaberry wine. Maybe she is being too harsh on her uncle. He is only trying to help, after all. Moore considers the bottle in her hands and spending a small moment with the farmer. But too many lives are in danger. Too many things are at stake. The glass will simply have to wait.
pulp in orange juice. Yeah or nay? I hate pulp. I'm not a pulp person. Nope, no pulp. It gets caught in my throat, and I do not like. Why is it suddenly dark? I think it's the end of the demo. Oh. Moore used to keep little trinkets in this hole until the day she reached a little too far. Her uncle always laughs as he retells the story of the proudest fish he caught, the mole. Aw, that's mm -hmm. a cute way to end it. All right, well, like it says there, this will be out 18th of March. So we don't have to wait too long, but we do have to wait. Definitely not what I anticipated. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a lot more immediate puzzly, but instead it's more immediate depressing. Giant techno... Like by tech, techno tech. organic machine monsters and a killer and a, plague spores. Yeah, yeah, a fungal plague that has yeah. wiped out much of the world. Interesting. It is interesting. I'm curious to see more. I, it feels almost more of a walking simulator than an actual puzzle game. But honestly, considering how beautiful the artwork is, how lovely the narration was, and how interesting the world is. Frankly, I wonder how large the illustrations themse themselves are if you have to piece them all together yeah. when you make the maps in the end. Yeah. What's the collection? Yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. So, oh, so the different islands. Yeah, so we start on Boan. There are three. And we Biwa, go to Bewa. Ima, Lusa, Grava, Momorfesti. Ari, Farhan, and Ganon. So there are... Uh, if that took us about... It takes probably about an hour to get through Biwa. So... Presumably... The game is about six to eight times... Eight, six to eight hours long? That ain't yeah, bad. Who knows? Yeah. Depends on how complicated I just like estimating are. how long a game might be. Just from like my own kind of personal... Uh, scheduling... But no, it looks really neat, and I can't wait to play more. But for now, we got some other games to check out. <laughs>